<laughs> What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. I'm Ed. And I'm Kat. And we are The, the Ruse React. React. And we've got another comedy reaction for you today. Uh, but before we get to that, we just wanted to say... A big thanks for all of those who have liked, commented, suggested and subscribed. Thanks guys! We appreciate you. Now, today we are doing a clip that has been recommended from day one, pretty oh, much. Oh, really? Yeah, I just Oops. was waiting to get around to it. <laughs> but um, as you can tell by the thumbnail, this is... Top 10 Bill Burr moments on Conan. On Conan. So, um, Bill Burr and Conan O'Brien are very similar in the fact that they were... They have red hair? They've got red hair. They are translucent white. <laughs> both, both born in Boston of Irish heritage. Oh. So, they've got a bit in common and... Um, Let's see what they got up to. I'm guessing this is a compilation, obviously, yes. so it'll be a few appearances. So, without further ado, we'll get into it. Here we go. So, does your wife watch any of these games with you? Does she? No, she has the female, complex, multitasking <laughs> brain. That's why they can't be happy. They, they just, they just always, they're like, what is that lizard that can look at two things at once? That's what they're like. So they got the shoes they want, and then they see some other woman walking in going, oh, look at this skinny bitch over here. She thinks she's cute, right? And they, that's what I've learned. Oh, God. You know what makes women happy? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing makes them happy. And that is why they have slowly taken over the NFL, because it annoys them that, that we can just sit there with like a pizza and a drink, like, eh, that's not holding. <laughs> just, just be like, and enjoy ourselves. So you're saying that you, because you're happy, that you think uh, your wife and women in general they, want to take They're that. jealous of it. They're jealous how simple the male brain is. <laughs> you can just sit there and be entertained and find true happiness. And it just bugs them. So they got to ruin it. Well, they're slowly taking over the NFL. You know, all next month, once again, they're going to dress everybody in the NFL like newborn baby girls. <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> What do you, they, they, did you forget that there's breast cancer from yeah, like you a know, year ago? Yeah, so they did it last year and they're going to do it again this year. Yes. They're slowly going to take it over and they're, they're going to move us up. Because I'm telling you, I don't understand why they keep trying to go into a male football league. It's like, why don't you guys band together and start your own league? <laughs> yes. Get your own thing going. But I realize they don't want their own thing. They don't, they don't want their own shit. They, they want our shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And it's, I think it's because we're happy. We're just sitting there enjoying ourselves, having a good time without them. It drives them nuts. <laughs> and they just got to go in there and ruin it. So they don't like, they got women's basketball. They don't even like it. They don't even like football. Most they of them don't even, they don't even like football. Like, I don't get it. I don't get like the fascination. Like if my wife is having like three of her friends over, I screw. I leave. I don't need to be there and ruin Absolutely. it for her. I know, I know you guys. I'm going to change the Guess dynamic because I'm there and you can't talk about 100% female stuff. Out of courtesy, I'm going to get out of there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave. But they can't do that, you're saying? One guy. One show me <laughs> jackass up there. I'm just oh, what do you mean? <laughs> He's like Edison. I don't know. He invented no. all this stuff that everybody... What are you but, talking but about? did he? <laughs> did he? Did, like, did he sit down and like, I'm going to invent the iPhone and just sat there soldering, possibly welding, right? <laughs> Didn't he have like a crew of guys helping him out? Sure, maybe he did. So why, when he went to those nerd fests, didn't he have like an like a like a chorus of scientists behind him who helped him out too? He walked out like he was Tesla, <laughs> <laughs> like tapping into electricity. I'm not with you. I think he just kind of like told people what to invent. Like he just kind of came in like, I want my whole music collection in that phone. Get on it! <laughs> <laughs> all these nameless, faceless guys. Yeah. Made it happen. Yeah. And then they have the big nerd concert and he goes out there by himself. <laughs> no belt, you know, sneakers on. <sighs> I just didn't buy it. Is <laughs> it's a great way to tap out from the news and just, you know, watch a game and get away from it. And now there's like all these causes are getting like attached to it. Like I was watching the World Series and I'm in the middle of watching the World Series and out of nowhere they have this moment, stand up to cancer. I'm watching a ball game and all of a sudden everybody stands up holding up a sign of somebody that they either know that's dying of cancer or died of it that's in the middle of the much. game. It's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> trying to watch a game here. <laughs> you know, no, there's a time and a place. Look, I know somebody. So I know somebody that has died 
of cancer. I would never go to the movies with you and in the middle of it hit pause and be like, oh, by the way, Conan. He <laughs> 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 died of cancer. It was horrific. I could have lifted him up off the sheet with two fingers. It was horrible. Hey, enjoy. Oh, by the way, I got molested when I was nine. <laughs> 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 uh, he didn't do anything to me. <laughs> you know what he did for me? He raised. $500 million for cancer research. That's what that lie did. Yeah. yeah. Right. And everybody Good. had Fuck the you. bands on. Remember the bands? Yeah. Sure. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that blocked out the sun, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, it wasn't to no, block no, out no, the no sun. No risk cancer? Yeah. <laughs> was annoying and I hated how Oprah was interviewing him and acting like she was dumbfounded that this guy would do this like she's been in show business for 35 years and she can't like wrap her head around <laughs> some guy doing whatever it takes to get to the next level yeah. didn't she for the first five years have like midgets who wanted to bang their mailman's boyfriend <laughs> and, she, and she didn't want to do it she didn't want to do it but she didn't have the power to say no so she wrote it out and then when she could make a good decision, she did a show. But she stood on the heads of those little people for five years until she got to make sure she's sitting there across from this guy like, like so how could you? You know exactly what he's doing. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Look, the guy was a sociopath on a bicycle, all right? We, we got off easy. Yeah. If that guy was working for a corporation, he probably would have been pouring stuff in the water supply, doing God knows what. <laughs> just, just keep him on the bike. Just <laughs> keep him down the hill. He's not hurting anybody. He's not hurting anybody. Not hurting anybody. He has, and the top 20 guys, like, all tested positive yeah. for roids. So our roided up guy beat your roided up guy. <laughs> <laughs> right. And those guys who run that filthy sport who was sitting there going like, oh, this is absolutely, this is ridiculous. He, he doesn't represent cycling. Are they going to return all the money that they made off of that guy? Huh? They're going to turn in their yachts? They're not going <laughs> to. They're not going to do it. Everyone turn in your yacht. Are you, turn in your yacht. Are you worried about him at all being in office? Do you think, I mean, is it, does it concern you? I don't know. I feel like the president, you only see him like once every three weeks. You know? <laughs> It'd be like if you were dating a chick and she was a jerk, but you only saw her once every three weeks. There's like no way she could break your heart, you know? <laughs> what? No, it's, you gotta, like, you gotta, like, the immigration site to move to Canada crashed. Do you think people are going to really move to Canada? Do you think I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. You yeah, there's to too to many people here. The rent's too high and all that. <laughs> Just thin it out. Give us a little negotiating thing. And then what's going to be funny up there, it's not going to be Michael Moore's Canada. What he said, oh, you keep your doors unlocked and everybody's drinking <laughs> syrup. And it's, yeah. He didn't, talk, talk. he didn't say everyone's <laughs> drinking syrup. <laughs> talk to anybody of color that tried to make it playing hockey up there. Listen to the stories they had. You're like, were you in Alabama? No, it was in Manitoba. <laughs> yeah, those are still white people up there. Yeah. Just because they're on the other side of the invisible line doesn't mean that they're not going to act like white people. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not a big fan of Canada is what you're saying. No, I love Canada, but I don't go up there with like this starry look in my eye like everyone's going to be riding around on mooses. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like it's environmental these, stuff. You really are worried about it. Uh, I am and I'm not. I just also feel like, you know, it'd probably be a good thing if most of us died. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it would be. Like, there's no prob, there's no... <laughs> uh -huh. there's, there's nothing wrong with driving a gas-guzzling car. There's just too many people doing it. Yeah. So you gotta figure out a way to, like, thin out the herd it's and it's late. too late. <laughs> It's, no, these are the hard decisions that are going to have to be made. We are, we're here to hear about some yeah. hard choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know how I would do it? What? I would, I would randomly sink cruise ships. Yes. <laughs> cruise ship. yeah. Yeah. What? What? Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's hear them out. Why would you randomly sink cruise ships? Because you, you'd get like 2,500 to 3,000 people a whack, right? And I don't think, I think it's a good mix of people to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> after the second time they catch on. No, because this you is know? what you do. As you're sinking them, you're building an exact replica. So as you're eliminating people, you're like creating jobs. And you just... <laughs> like the latest, you the latest thing that's, thing that's driving me nuts is I spent 20 years in the back of the plane getting treated like an animal. And uh, I finally worked my way up to the front of the plane, group one, which means you get to board like it's your plane. 
Right. right? You, you, board, you get to board. Yes. For, yeah. You for, sit yeah. in a chair that's the size for a human being. <laughs> There's a place for your bag. Yep. Yep. Right? You get a little hot towel and all that. And then the second I get that, all of a sudden now, there's like these 20 groups that are like pre boarding now. Like half the plane qualifies and they're getting on, and I just sit there just like losing my shit. You know? It well, starts off like it's just like anybody in uniform, anybody in military. So it's like, all right, all right. But after like the 20th guy, you just start being like, have, have you seen action? <laughs> Are you on the front lines at least? <laughs> Anybody with kids, anybody with disabilities, and they're just anybody with a red shirt. Hey, it's, it's Tony Tuesday. Anybody named Anthony can get on. Dude, I sat one time, I saw this guy get on the plane. Uh -huh. Okay, he wasn't in uniform, he didn't have kids, he had all his limbs, he wasn't limping, he didn't have a cough, he just walked on the plane. It's like, who the f is that guy? <laughs> How did I get on before that guy? <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I always hated the anxiety of being in the back of the plane. I just remember, like, the worst is whenever you would get your seat and you'd sit there and they're about ready to close the door and you'd have that empty seat next to you. Like, yes, like yes. the poor man's first class. You're like, oh shit, I'll bring the armrest up. I can actually just be great. And then all of a sudden, some fat bastard gets on the plane. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, no. You're, you're literally, you're like Quint at the end of Jaws, like sliding down the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. this is all true. <laughs> this dude got on. He was so fat. He was sitting next to me. I was literally next to him and behind him. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, tried to make himself smaller. And he, like, folded his arm. And his lad came out like, like a, you know, those old Western saloon things. I'm just sitting behind this thing. <laughs> So, yeah, so, yeah, that, that motivates you to try to get so to a certain place all these years, 20 years, you work your way up to the front, and now still, they won't let you, uh... Yeah, now that fat guy's considered disabled because he can't stop eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets on. Look at how many groaning. 90% of the world is starving to death. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> eat a salad and get on the treadmill like the rest of us. <laughs> Were you I flipping out the day, like, when you met? Did you flip out? Did you, really, that Yeah, I remember. Courtship? She told me to go see that movie, Monster. Mm -hmm. Remember that movie with Charlize Theron? Uh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And everybody was saying how, uh, oh, my God, it was unbelievable. Like, they, they literally blamed guys that she was a serial killer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you saw the Jeffrey Dahmer movie, it wasn't like, ah, somebody shoved a tuna fish sandwich up my ass, and I confused people with food, so I, like, they didn't make, like, a big excuse for him. You know? She was a psycho killing people, and she should have died. But I'm, like, watching it feeling guilt. Do they ever take responsibility for their actions? Even when they're murdering people, it's somehow our Is fault. Is this yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm real. <laughs> you strap on. Enjoy. Yeah. 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 Why would having in. a tuna fish sandwich shoved up your butt make you want to eat oh, people? Just, because another man did it. <laughs> right? It's, it's another person. So you, you equated, I don't know, sex with food? I forget. I forget how the idea went. But all you I know should... is she laughed when I said it. She was dying laughing and kind of saw my point. And, um... <laughs> I always hate when she says to me, she'd just be like, you know, I just don't see, what, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? It's just like, honey, how many childhood stories do I have to tell you before you follow the breadcrumbs to the psycho that you married? I mean, <laughs> did you ever take a psychology class like you didn't see this coming? Right. That's what it is. It's not that she says that I'm a jerk. It's just the nerve to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like about annoying people. Like when people tweet, it's very easy to piss off one side. The art is to try, you got to try to get everybody. <laughs> so you tweet stuff like, Trump is such a dope, he's actually going to make me vote for a woman. <laughs> right? And then you just sit back. <laughs> and then you just sit Oh, that was good. Bad. That's really good. I think some of that, oh, it's totally understandable why, but some of the bits obviously are then in... Some yeah, of his comedy shows. That's so you take like bits. Conan... Well, because the thoughts would be yours, especially the way Bill does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. part of his comedy, but it's actually the way he thinks. So it's like, oh, but that was good. That was like behind the scenes of some of the jokes. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. That was really yeah, good. That was great. Oh, you can see where it's coming from. It's so 
polarized now. Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah, pendulum swung way too far the other end when it comes to lots of things. Yeah. Especially, you know, what it was just the last thing he was talking about with women and oh, men. Yeah. And... I just love his point of view on that. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. really good. <laughs> They're overrated. <laughs> no, well, not that. I mean, I guess what the thinking was, yeah, pendulum, that's a great thing. It was like, they were so, it's just so underheard like, and underrepresented. Yeah, and now it's like... What's well, with most thing now, the guys are guilty, because here's the thing at the end of the day, you've got that little meat purse that we all want to forage through. And so we just get like, all right, whatever. This is what I think, that the biggest enemy to a woman is a gay man. Because he has no time for you. Oh, it's zero. He has no interest. Not he doesn't interest, need anything from interest, you. He's likely jealous of you. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He's like, but <laughs> does not care for anything you got to give. Mm-mm. So it's just Unless like. Unless you shit in my <laughs> But that was the top 10 Bill Burr moments on Conan. Yep. They are very funny together because oh, Conan plays on him really well like he he's does. a good straight man to his yes the the comedy straight and man. i love just watching going and he's just pissing his pants the whole time yeah wouldn't you <laughs> god yes, imagine yes. that front row seat to that no that's great uh, oh good and, well, and 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 if you watch bill burr a lot as well yeah you'll see throughout him talking he'll bring in the moments that he's either a going to present in his you know next up yeah, yeah 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 um, um, comedy event Special, or, or yeah. yeah so no that's really cool no that was good great well thanks for watching guys I'm Ed and I'm Kat and we are the Riz React see you next time bye